Wild Wild West. He's a great guy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Man. I didn't know I knew any of <laughs> There's just a part of me that liked Jackson. Jackson's great. But I mean, I mean, and again, to me, I'm I re, I, I look at all these guys, I evaluate them as characters. They're all mm. great, amazing yeah. characters. They all did awful things. Of course. Yeah. But uh I mean Obama fucking bombed you know, fucking weddings. Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Obama. Yeah. But uh but but uh yes, Jackson was a crazy but shrewd. A great yeah. thing about Jackson was that his part, his inaugural party in the White House. Yeah, uh, this is wild. They this. they they stormed he, the Capitol. He invited everybody. <laughs> That's exactly right. They he invited them. everyone. He said anyone that wants can come. Uh, no no invitation needed. It's the people's house, and the oh the house God. was crammed with common people getting drunk, stealing shit, shit face, destroyed, and the they wouldn't place. leave. And there's a there's a honor code in the White House. You don't ask someone to leave. You don't ever throw anybody out. So they couldn't get them. Like, days went by <laughs> where people are shitting on the floor <laughs> and raiding the fucking <laughs> pantry and just fucking people and whatever. What? And so what they did was they got huge kegs of beer and they put them on the lawn and they nice. said, "Hey, come out. Let's let's drink under the stars. Let's have you know." Yeah. And they invited them out for beer on the lawn, and they all came outside and they locked locked the doors. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. was how he he was a he was a people's president. Yeah, like he there was, was the first populist in his the um, first yes. guy. Yeah, first one to appeal to the common person. Yeah. There was an author of English guy. I read his bi- uh, biography of him, and they have one account of an uh, English. Uh, traveling writer who would write travel logs. And uh, he was in Washington and he thought, well, what is it like? Can you meet the president? And he just walked. There wasn't a fence around yeah, the house. Yeah, people then. just could walk in. And so see he him. just walked to the front door and he knocked on the door. And the, a butler came and to the door and said, hello. And he said, I'd like to meet the president. And he's like, is he expecting you? And he goes, no. And the butler's like, all right, well, come in and sit down. <laughs> and he went in. The guy waited like 20 minutes. And Jackson came out of his office, which was like full of people. And he said, I'm in a pretty important, like, who are you? Yeah. And he said, I just wanted to meet you and say hi. And he was like, all right, can you wait an hour? <laughs> and he's like, sure. So he went and whatever, fucking signed a yeah. thing to kill all the Indians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he came and had uh, sandwiches brought and he sat with the guy and just talked to him for an hour. Damn. Damn. He also went, he was the first president, I think, to write on a, on a real like on a train, he took a train. He was the first one to do this. That he went all over the country. Yeah, he went, came up to, he went up to Maine. Presidents never travel. He was the first guy to do that. Like he thought people should see the president. People should have contact. Whoa, with the president. The Trail of Tears. He he flubbed that one. Yeah, was flubbed. Fun. He, he nailed a bit it. of a fl- <laughs> 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 He did do exactly what his goal he did was. What he tried to yeah. do. He fucking flubbed. That was a bit of a flub. He, no, he was not. He didn't make mistakes. I re- I looked it up. I don't know if you. They had slaves. It's, yeah, yeah. The fucking dudes on the Trail of Tears. They were like, we got to bring our slaves. If slaves are available, folks get slaves. That's yeah. just the way that goes. I couldn't believe it. But when when he was peaceful, man. Yeah, yeah, that's point. what the part you don't hear is like the Indians are like, you know what he did to us, and what he did to our slaves was yeah, even worse. our slaves had it real bad on yeah. the Trail of Tears. I mean, tell me about it. Yeah, but didn't they like share everything with their slaves though? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they were yeah, way yeah. better. Was slaves. Like real peaceful. It was egalitarian, dude. <clears throat> they were some no, of those he, good slave owners. He, uh, the natives. There is some story from the uh, some chief, big chief, went to uh, the White House to meet with the Jackson because Jackson was very honest. Yeah. He didn't underhand ever. He didn't play politics. He did horrible things, but he just went ahead and did them. Like there was a slave revolt during his presidency where they took over a fort. The slaves took over a fort and just said, we just want out. We just want to be taken to the North or Canada or whatever. And so he just got a bunch of cannons and just, he just lit the whole place. Up. Them. Bombed them. He didn't fucking care. So some famous, uh, like a name you'd recognize, it wasn't like Sitting Bull, but it was some big, uh, all of the Indians, the tribes, all the tribes chose this guy yeah. to negotiate with uh, Jackson. And he went and talked to Jackson, just the two of them, and he came out crying. And said, <laughs> what? We're He's not. Like, we're in trouble. Yeah, he <laughs> says, we're not. He, this is going to go bad. Oh, it's gonna go bad. No. no, he was. He just had his way of thinking about how it was gonna yeah. go. He's like, no, we got to clear these guys out of here. Also, in line with Trump, he was like, this is where the term mudslinging starts. Yeah, it was him and John Quincy. 
their election or their debates and shit was he would just talk they would talk shit there would be nasty rumors oh, in the papers God. whatever it took yeah. whatever it took no yeah. i remember i have a friend who's a trump guy who I've known for a long time. I'm not going to say that his name is Nick DiPaolo. <laughs> but, uh, knowing Nick has always given me some insight into the into the mentality of that kind of guy. Not just yeah. Trump, but guys like Jackson. I remember once I was with Nick and a lot of people, and he was, um, and like three uh, Democrats were yelling at him. And he was starting to say crazy, fucked up things to them. And at one point, I'm like, Nick, you even you know that's wrong. And he yeah. goes... It's three against one. Like, <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? Like he's in, yeah. a, and I, and it gave me that I, cause, and then it brought me back to when I was like nineteen, and I was uh, friends with Nick, and we were comedians in Boston, and there was a uh, a pinball machine we really liked playing at this one club, so we're playing pinball against each other, and when it was my turn, I was starting to beat his score. <laughs> And he just put his hand over my hand <laughs> so I couldn't flip. And he just looked at me like this. And I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah, I win. <laughs> I win. I don't care. Fuck. But he Jackson, was big, too. Wasn't Jackson was, yes. Yeah, Jackson was strong. the first. Yeah, he was a football player. Yeah. A college football player. Jackson was the first president to go like, uh, fuck you. I'm, I'm winning. I'm yeah. winning this. I don't care what happens to you. Jesus. We're, we're going we're gonna, to, you know. So um, he also one of the big things with Jackson, he was the, he vetoed more bills than every president before him combined. Nice. He hated the banks. He he like went to war. It's crazy that he's on the twenty. Yeah. It's like a joke because he hated the idea of a central bank. He hated the idea of a treasury. He mm -hmm. thought that it should just be folks have their yeah. money, you use gold and you trade, and he wanted. So I think know. the U.S. Bank at the time, I think it was called the United States, like the Bank of the United States, was up for re. To be renewed, mm -hmm. and he just happened to be the president, and he vetoed it. Yeah, and it was a thing you don't veto. It you can't like, veto it. No, but he, he vetoed it. So then the next guy, we'll get to him, is his vice president Van Buren. He takes over. Mm -hmm. He takes over a completely destroyed economy because he vetoed the bank. That's the that's the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. cool guys. Yeah. America is made of cowboys and nerds. So yeah. you got cowboys who show off and who show what kind of people we are, and then you have nerds who actually get things done. But the cowboys get the credit. Yeah. And then the nerds get fucked every he time. He got fucked. His nickname was Van Ruin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He had a lot of nicknames. <laughs> they were like, Old Kinderhook. He yeah. was another total nerd, and everybody hated Van Buren. He was like a little fucking... Yeah. He was supposed mean. to be, I think, he was one of those vice presidents that was supposed to be a link. Like, because Jackson was the man in the South, kind of. Or wherever, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Let's get this dork to." He was know. from uh, he was Kinderhook, Pence. New York. He was his pent. Yeah, yeah. He was oh, Trump's yeah. pent. Yeah, he was. Uh, the, the the legend is that you know he was one of the first people to have uh, um, pamphlets, like a lot of pamphlets, like the, the press, like the mass press started to get big. So his pamphlet was because he was called Old Kinderhook because he's from Kinderhook, New York. So his thing was okay, and it was oh, a check mark. Oh, nice. And that's where people say that okay comes from. What? Yeah. Because it was like his thing was okay with a check mark. That was the point. It was like vote for old Kinnerhook. That's Whoa. the thing. That's the thing. When you look into this, that's where all of our shit comes from. Yeah, that's nuts. It's all of this. All right. Well, we got to speed up because this one's funny. Van Buren sucked, whatever. Yeah, yeah he's his. Here comes Harrison. He's the next guy. Everybody called him old granny because he was too much of a geezer to run. So on his inauguration, he was like, I'm going to prove to everyone how tough I am. Yeah. It was freezing cold and raining. He had like an 8,000-word inauguration. Yeah. <laughs> he got a pneumonia and died. <laughs> he died. He was uh, <laughs> like a few months. He died immediately. Like Shortest yeah. term. Died. Damn. Shortest term. Never had a, didn't have a minute of acting as trying president. Trying to prove he was tough. Got sick the first day. <laughs> died immediately. And oh. died uh, a few months later. What? So, yep. Uh, that brings us to Tyler. He did nothing. 